Hey, it's Nicholas back today with Puppy525. Now, this is more of an upgrade than a new distro completely, so basically all the things stay the same, but they have improved quite a few things inside. So a quick look for this. this is a real quick one. We get QuickPet 4.5, okay? So that comes all the usual stuff in QuickPet, so that's nice, everything's nice in there. And the usual slot of uh, SFS files in there for other stuff too. So that's pretty okay, isn't it? Yeah. Right, drivers. It still don't like my NVIDIA dr car, this driver. It, they don't like it whatsoever. It says no, 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 no. But it runs reasonably okay. So you might as well keep to their basic one, really, at the end of the day. And here's the Lucid Puppy News page. As you can see, it's there, 525, as there is some other programs too. So that's all rather hunky door, isn't it? So yeah, he says to himself. So what we'll do, I'm going to show you something what I like here. We'll go to the Puppy Package Manager. Now, it's had open shot for a little while, but getting the actual um, Nicky Nooey Noodles working properly for the animated desktops, or animated screens, should I say, has been a bit dodgy. But this time I've installed or added Blender 2.56a beta to get that actually working, and it's in the Puppy Package Manager. So now at last you can get it all working nice. And also it's open shot 1.3, it's not the older one, so it's all top of the mill. So I'll open open the shot for you. Here we go, opens all nice. Done in Puppy, by the way, full install. There we go, animated titles. You can get any one of these that you would like to do. And it'll run through it and render it for you using Blender, because it needs Blender to do it. That's how OpenShop works. It uses lots of other stuff to do stuff for it, so that's really nice. But yeah, you can use all this stuff to get animated titles, put your names in, etc, etc, etc. Yeah, super duper. What I like anyway. And it works in Puppy, which is even better. So, what else can I show you that's reasonably new? Well, I'll tell you what, we'll have a look, shall we? Not a lot, really. There's not a lot added that's been that's real new. <clears throat> but it's all been improved and it all runs nice, which is the main thing. What is new is we now have Bash 4.1.0 instead of Bash 3. We now have Syst Linux 4.03 instead of 3. We also have the JWM Windows Manager up to 500 from 4.93. And Gnumeric has been updated by Yard Dog. Oh yeah, I think it was Yard Dog anyway. Don't do it. Fuck off. Yeah, I think it was. But anyway, this is the Tor browser. Any of you have used the Tor browser before, you know what it's all about. So it's basically anonymous browsing. But it takes some time to work. But I can assure you that it does work, so I'm not going to hang about on this video, because otherwise I'll be going over the same things. So it's basically the same as F Puppy 5.2.1, but just upgraded a bit, if you know what I mean. That's the way they do it. They upgrade things every month or so, so it all works. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to open a load of programs up to show you that it doesn't crash, doesn't do anything silly or naughty or stupid or stupider even. So it's coping with it really, really nice. It's recording at the same time and it's running just, just fine. Look at that. I mean, what more would you want? If you want a basic system, I mean, Puppy's the man for you now. I mean, it can do anything. And it don't crash anymore, thank God. Now, what many have we got open there? We've got quite a lot. Of, there nine or ten programs open, all on the same desktop as well. It hasn't even phasing it, really. It's just doing its job that it's supposed to do, which is what we really like, isn't it? Oh, by the way, it used a new Wolf build from February the 28th instead of the old one. So it's, a three, it's been using the old build for three months, so now it's a new Wolf build. I'm actually building it, so that may have added some stability in the, in the pipeline, if you know what I mean. I'll close Osmo down while I'm there. So, yeah, it's not a new distro. It's just an upgrade, but it is running a lot smoother, and some of the stuff you get from the Ubuntu repositories would also work a lot smoother. I don't know if you noticed before that when you installed them from them repos, it didn't like it, and it didn't want to know, and it says go away, didn't it, basically? So I open the tube up, make sure it all works in here. The browser works just fine, as you can see. There's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. It just works, look. Works, 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 works. And yes, we do get full screen video as well now. It's not crashing there anymore, so that's even better. We'll just go to my own page, look, just to make sure it all works, and I'm not lying to you. There we go. That's super all right. I'm only recording at 15 frames a second here, so don't worry too much. It is using GTK record by desktop in Puppy. Oh, yes, it is. And you're saying, no, it's not. And I'm saying, yes, it is. Well, I'll tell you what I do. Should I show you? Yeah, I'm going to show you. Well, number one, you can see the white the white box down in the bottom bar anyway. That's the off button, as you would know. Anyway, but yeah. I'm just going to show you. Oh, yeah, I know. We'll go to System. We'll go to HTOP. There you go. It's the quad core test machine running all nice and hunky dory. Now, if you want to run Puppy, if you don't want a full hard disk install, do it to a USB stick. It works just as well. But if you want to do a nice full install, you've got all that space to do lots and lots of stuff. You know what I'm going to say? Sneaky Linux out.